Josh, there has been an outpouring of support from this community for 29 year old Officer Torres, his family, as well as the Raleigh Police Department. The nonprofit Back the Blue NC came out this afternoon and added to the memorial for Officer Torres, laying flowers on the hood of the patrol car that is draped in black. Torres was headed to work when he was gunned down and killed along with four other victims who tragically lost their lives last Thursday in the Headingham mass shooting. The founder of the Back the Blue NC is a former law enforcement officer and says this is her way of supporting her brothers and sisters in blue. She says the last few days have been emotional and points to the dangers of the job. As she says, an officer is always on duty. Torres' death comes as the community is still processing the death of another law enforcement officer, a Wake County Sheriff deputy who was killed two months ago. It seems like it has happened so soon since Deputy Bird, and our hearts are still broken over his loss, and now they're just torn apart again. So today is a very, very difficult day, coming out and seeing the vehicle in person and laying down the flowers. It's a, it's a tough moment. And this, this is a young man that, and I can say young man, he was only 29, who his entire adult life he served because he's a former Marine. So as a Marine veteran and then joining the police department, this was a young man whose life was dedicated to serving the community. And, you know, it's just one more person. And this has got to stop. I know everybody says it, but if there's nothing else that people listen to, when you see a police officer, and I don't care where you are, thank them. And I say that thank you can go a long way. Torres leaves behind a wife and a two-year-old daughter. In Raleigh, I'm Jamise Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.